So I want to talk a little bit more about the ICC news. For those of you who don't know, I did a video about this. But basically, the ICC's chief prosecutor, Kareem Khan, he applied for arrest warrants for three Hamas leaders and two Israeli leaders, specifically Benjamin Netanyahu and Defense Minister Yoav Gallant. Now, we're seeing a lot of tantrums being thrown in the United States as a result. And just to kind of give you a sense as to what's going on, um, this is what our politicians are saying. Um, you see the same thing, uh, this equivalence between Hamas and Israel, Hamas and Israel. There, there's no equivalence between Israel and Hamas. Uh, Senator Bob Casey, I condemn this dangerous move by the ICC. There's no equivalence between Israel and Hamas. Uh, let's see, we have Adam Schiff. To make a false equivalence between the actions of a democratically elected... I mean, it's the same thing. And, you know, I get the sense that these people are being paid to say the same talking point. Does anybody get that sense? It's, it's a little bit weird, right? They're all saying the same thing using the same exact language to talk about this decision. And it's, mm, it's almost like they're being fed this line. Very, very interesting, right? Very curious. Uh, now, I love this response from Lindsey Graham um, because he... He said this is bad because, you know, if we let the ICC go after Netanyahu in Israel, then America could be next. The reaction to this line is amazing. So I'm just going to press play and shut up because you all have to see this. So we, hopefully, together, will find a way to uh, rest our displeasure with the ICC because if they'll do this to Israel, we are next. This group tried to come after our soldiers. Yeah, you can clap all you want to. They tried to come after our soldiers in Afghanistan, but reason prevailed. So at the reason prevailed. Oh, I just I love that he expected them to, I guess, think that it's bad for the ICC to come after American war criminals. But that's good. And I'm sorry when they went after the American uh, government for Afghanistan, reason did not prevail. Why would they do that? Hmm. I wonder. And what's weird is that they're they're playing this jurisdiction card, right? But the problem is that. They're hypocrites. And even though Russia is not a party to the Rome Statute and does not recognize the jurisdiction of the ICC, they were applauding the arrest warrant for Vladimir Putin. And that's because, you know, if you are conducting something that is a violation of international humanitarian law in a state where they are a party to the Rome Statute, that's still grounds for prosecution. So that's the logic here with regard to Israel. And since they're doing this in Gaza, in Palestine, is a party to the Rome Statute, they recognize the jurisdiction of the International Criminal Court, um, you know, that gives them jurisdiction. And the reason why they're pushing back so heavily against this claim about jurisdiction is because, um, I mean, American officials could be implicated as well. Biden, in particular, Blinken, they are supplying Israel with the arms to do this genocide. So if Israel is culpable and under the jurisdiction, you can make the case possibly that Biden and Blinken are too. So um, the response has been ridiculous um, and things are getting worse. So this is from Financial Times. The Biden administration signals it will support push to hit ICC with sanctions. This is in response to them going after just two Israeli war criminals. So Biden wants to team up with Republicans. Republicans to sanction the International Criminal Court. Now, when Biden was still a candidate, he was talking about how international order is so important. Um, and, you know, Trump is violating international norms. Uh, when Russia invaded Ukraine, he was saying the same thing. And now all of a sudden, when the ICC is coming after an ally to the United States, that whole song and dance goes out the window. Let's just read a little bit of this. The administration of President Joe Biden will work with Congress on possible sanctions against the International Criminal Court after its prosecutor announced it was seeking arrest warrants for senior Israeli and Hamas officials, U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken uh, said on Tuesday. Congressional Republicans have signaled that they plan to introduce legislation that will impose costs on the court for its decision and are expected to force a vote on a measure that could lay bare the divisions with the Democrats over the Israel-Hamas war. Now, I think you already know what's coming. If a bill comes up, it's going to pass with overwhelming bipartisan support in the House and the Senate. Biden's going to sign it. And yeah, they're going to go after the International Criminal Court. And again, I, just to kind of put everything back in perspective, 
Biden wants to sanction the International Criminal Court because they're going after war criminals in Israel committing a genocide, ethnic cleansing, and mass starvation. I mean, Biden is such a despicable person, such a gross human being. Um, and, and also, just this week, he was talking about how this is not a genocide. So he's doing genocide denial. And of course, he's going to say that because he's complicit. So he doesn't want to admit that he's complicit in a genocide, but he is. But just a despicable person, horrible human being, a complete fucking monster. And you know it's bad when you've lost the Obama people because, as Kate Willett points out here, this is a tweet from former Deputy National Security Advisor to Obama reacting to that same article that we just read. Uh, so Ben Rhodes says, It would be an historic and dangerous mistake for a Democratic administration to participate in an attack on international law and institutions. Yeah, because if you say that international norms and international law matters and no country is above the law— but then you treat Israel like it's above the law and you act like you're above the law, then your words don't mean shit, right? All this talking about uh, Russia invading Ukraine or China possibly invading Ukraine, uh, uh, not Ukraine, Taiwan, I almost said Ukraine and Taiwan. But, you know, this talk of China wanting to invade Taiwan, it means nothing because you just established right now that international law means jack shit. So anyone could do what the fuck they want. Might makes right. So they're they're the ones who are destroying the United States' reputation even more. And I don't ever want to hear an American official talk about international norms, international law, human rights, because they have thoroughly delegitimized themselves over the course of the last eight months. Now, this is really interesting to me. Uh, and I have Adam Jan Johnson's response here. Uh, great reporter, by the way, because. How else can you respond? Biden officials have become increasingly concerned that Hamas has been able to recruit during wartime. Thousands over the last several months, allowing uh, the group to withstand months of Israeli offensives. I wonder why that is. I wonder why that is. Uh, Adam Johnson says, new top foreign policy experts have learned killing 17,000 children leads to recruiting for those fighting the guys that killed 17,000 children. Right. And I love this word concern because Biden's concerned about other things as well. The Associated Press reports that Israeli officials seized AP equipment and took down live shot of northern Gaza, citing new media law, and that new media law was them banning Al Jazeera. And so since Al Jazeera was using the feed from AP, Israel took it down. Cool. The only democratic uh, country in the Middle East, folks. But the response is uh, that Biden's administration was concerned. They're always concerned, right? But don't do shit. This is from Barack Ravid. Uh, breaking, White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre told reports that the Biden administration is concerned by reports that the Israeli government confiscated equipment of the AP. She said journalists need to have the right and the ability to do their job. They're always concerned, but that's the extent of it. Well, seems like, you know, Israel bombed a refugee camp. Well, the Biden administration is very concerned. Israel bombed people who were lining up to get food. Well, the Biden administration told Netanyahu that they're concerned. Uh, you know, Israel bombed more hospitals. They're concerned. Like, I don't want to hear shit about this. Shut the fuck up about your goddamn concern. It's, it's nauseating, honestly. The fact that this is something that they're surprised by, apparently, it shows you how clueless these people are. I mean, if you are destroying an entire area where these folks live... Half of Gaza, uh, residential homes have been destroyed. The entire area is uninhabitable. What the fuck do you expect? If you were just a normal person in Gaza trying to get by and then you lost your whole family, your home, what do you expect? They're going to want to take up arms and fight you. That's the natural response. So, of course, this is going to lead to people being very anti-Israel as a result in Gaza specifically because Israel's slaughtering them indiscriminately. The fact that they didn't foresee this after we experienced the same blowback from our own foreign policy with regard to Iraq shows you that we never learn from our mistakes. We never, ever learn. It's the same stupidity repeated again and again and again. And this is why that phrase, those who don't learn from history are doomed to repeat it, because we're seeing that. These people are so stupid, they don't even understand how actions have consequences. Now, on the note of, uh, you know, defending war criminals internationally. So a couple of months ago, Schumer called for an election in Israel because he said that Netanyahu needs to go because he's not a partner for peace. Well, look at this. 
Uh, Jake Sherman, this is uh, from Punchbowl News, NBC News as well. Speaker Johnson told me that Senator Schumer will sign the letter inviting Netanyahu to address a joint meeting of Congress. Johnson said the address will be as soon as we can schedule it. Johnson said BB told him personally that he is interested in doing the address. Yeah, so Schumer is now like, you know what? I guess I take everything I said back about Netanyahu. Let's invite him to Congress and let him address Congress. I mean, why? Why are we letting a war criminal speak? We have our own war criminals that are addressing Congress. We just had Biden address Congress. We don't need another one. But this is a foreign leader. What the fuck does he have to say to our Congress? The fact that he's traveling here and assuming the arrest warrant is approved by then, uh, and it just he, he doesn't have any concerns whatsoever about getting arrested, it shows you how brazen he is, right? And the fact that Schumer and Johnson are both like teaming up to invite this despicable genocidal maniac here, it just shows you that like our leaders have no morals and both parties are in lockstep and it's it's disgusting. But if you're going to be disgusting, then this is the treatment you're going to get out of this video. So uh, David Dole did a great video about Blinken getting protested when he was in a hearing. But here's a video of how he was uh, greeted after he was, uh, I think it was, yeah, it was when he was leaving. Butcher of Gaza, war criminal, what is Lincoln? Honestly, this is how these people should be greeted for the rest of their fucking lives. Unless they go to prison, this is what they need to be met with. Anytime they go out to dinner and somebody sees them in public, he needs to be called a war criminal. He needs to be called Butcher Blinken. Anytime Joe Biden shows his disgusting face in public, he needs to be called Genocide Joe. These people should never forget the crimes against humanity that they didn't just enable, but actively participated in they are providing material support to a regime doing a genocide and there is nothing more despicable than that right mass murderers belong in jail not in power so yeah i agree with uh, brian's statement they should be charged as well absolutely you know you 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 know you know the you know the thing thing You're getting nervous man man